In this video, let me show you how to build applications with Gemini 1.5 multimodal model. Now, Gemini is Google's largest language model so far with up to 1 million tokens, which means it has really large context window. And what's also cool is that it is multimodal in nature. Why does it matter? Because it means that we can create applications that humans like to interact with. Here's an example. When we humans watch a movie, we are doing so many things at the same time. We are processing the audio. We are also looking at the video and objects in the video. If there's translation going on, if it's another language, then we're also processing that. All of that information is processed at the same time in our brain. And then we start to anticipate more things to happen in this movie. In this video, I will show you how to create one such application using Gemini. Now, recently I've had a hard time getting through the Department of Motor Vehicle written test to renew my license. Now those tests are hard people. So I decided to create a little cheat sheet that'll help me study. And this cheat sheet we're going to use Gemini to create. So the best part is, I did not have to write any line of code. Let's see how I did it. So here we are in Google Cloud Console in Vertex AI dashboard. Now Vertex AI is the end-to-end -end platform to build and run AI applications. Here we see try Gemini 1.5 right here on the dashboard. I click on that and it takes us directly into the multimodal model right away. Before we create our prompt, let's see how all these multimodal components that I need to create this prompt come together. So I recorded a quick audio for context that, hey, I could not clear this test and it needs some more preparation. Then I have a sample test PDF file with questions and answers with the images of some traffic signs in there as well. And then finally, I have the entire handbook of the Department of Motor Vehicles, which is about 92 pages long, which also includes images. Now back into Wordex AI dashboard, creating our prompt here, I provide all these components, the audio file, the handbook manual, and the sample question answer document. And then I am asking the model Based on these files and the text from the handbook, create a few multiple choice questions with clearly marked answers. Use my cheat sheet as the format for those question answers. And with that, we can go ahead and submit this prompt. Now notice, this prompt is about 37,000 tokens. If you don't know what tokens is, let me tell you, tokens are the basic units of data that is processed by large language models. Now in context of text, a token can be a word, a part of a word, a subword, or even characters, depending on the tokenization process. Now, these are a large number of tokens, which takes a few seconds to process. And while that is happening, we can rename our query, Let me show you this temperature setting, which I'm putting at as one. You can keep it between zero and two. The lower temperature is good if we expect true and correct responses. Now, if we want creativity and diverse responses, we can choose higher temperature. Here, for our purposes, we want to stay as close to the handbook as possible so I can clear this test. So I'm choosing one. And there we go are sample questions with answers. That is amazing. Now, if I want to generate more, let's say 100 questions, we can edit our prompt accordingly and then use this get code button to use the Gemini API. I click on open notebook button and we have our entire code in a notebook ready to be executed. How easy and convenient is that? I did not have to write any code, any of these import methods, or even have to figure out how to call Gemini in code. Now I'll connect my runtime, 
create runtime and connect it, and then confirm that the runtime is connected. Now, once I have all that out of the way, I start executing my cells. We start by installing an upgrade of our Vertex AI platform. And then once that is finished, we start executing and running this code to request the model response. Now here we are importing the generative models and using Gemini 1.5 Pro model with our prompt that includes an audio file, two documents, and some text with some safety settings. And we want the response to be streamed as it is generated. And then here we go. The response with questions and answers that I can download and review for my next DMV test. It's even citing for me all the additional resources that I can go check out if I want to study more. With that, we just learned to use Gemini in Google Cloud using Vertex AI. We also learned to use the Gemini API to stream responses into our applications. I look forward for you to use Gemini API for your use case. And when you do so, please share the use case with me in the comments below. If you like this video and would like to see more such content, please like and subscribe. Thank you.